everyone in the world has seen the show, you. It's intense, it's bingeable, and just the right amount of creepy to get you hooked. But season four, part one, just dropped on Netflix, and it's underwhelming. The critics don't really have nice things to say about this one. Let's discuss. And if you haven't seen the show, where have you been for the past five years? It's a pretty good show, the first couple seasons at least. You is a psychological thriller TV series that first premiered on Netflix in 2018. It is based on a novel of the same name by author Caroline Kefnis and stars the insanely talented Penn Badgley as the main character, Joe Goldberg. Joe comes off sweet, charming, and smart, just a guy you'd want to date. But the thing about Joe, he's creepy, very creepy. The show focuses on Joe's obsessions with women. Each season features different obsessions in different cities, but the premise is usually the same. Joe will stop that nothing to be with the woman he loves, even if he has to murder or keep people hostage in his creepy glass box. I'm not gonna lie, I love the first three seasons of You. Not only is it totally gripping and super bingeable, but the themes the show explores are so interesting. You very rarely get to see a show that blends dark comedy and romantic thriller so seamlessly, but this one does it, and it's so entertaining to watch. It keeps getting renewed season after season because it's got that quality that leaves you sitting on the edge of your seat craving for more. The characters are deeply flawed and complex, but so fascinating, and the actors deliver phenomenal performances. It's truly one to watch until season four. Everyone was so excited for this season to be released, and when it did, it was disappointing. Critics really didn't enjoy this season, and I fully agree. So what's wrong with you season four? Firstly, most of the characters on the show were just meh. What you usually does really well is building Joe's world in each new place he moves to, with a group of interesting characters that we can get invested in or root for. The supporting cast really does a good job of balancing out Joe's insane tendencies, be it Jenna Ortega's bite commentary as Ellie in season two, or Victoria Pedretti's beautifully haunting presence as love in You season three. The show usually offers us a good bunch of characters, but not in season four. Honestly, I couldn't bring myself to care about any of the characters, which took away from the shock value of their deaths or the twist in the show. Yes, there's a slew of new faces. After the events of season three, Joe ends up in London and is surrounded by a group of British elites, but they're just that. Critics have noted that there's no depth at all to any of the characters, and the love interest, Kate, was seriously underwhelming. At least Beck was interesting and relatable, and love was insane but fascinating, but Kate has literally no notable qualities. She's unaffected by everything. It's weird. With no characters to actually care for in the season, you lost most of its eeriness and its bingeable effect. Even the reveal of the Eat the Rich killer wasn't all that shocking. And if you thought used Brits were bad, the show's London is even worse. Many critics have talked about used subpar portrayal of London, and the British ones especially are not pleased. Apparently, the show has taken a bunch of liberties when it comes to portraying the city. Nicole Vassell of The Independent called Use London a hilariously unrealistic depiction of the place. Ouch! That's harsh, but it's true. There's way more to the city than tweed jackets and thick accents. But here's the hilarious part. It's super clear that whoever wrote and directed this season has never actually lived in London. For example, how could Joe just turn a corner in East London and suddenly end up in Piccadilly? Joe really needs to tell us his walking routes. Also, no one in England goes to a pub and sits at the bar alone drinking neat whiskey. It's just not a thing but it is in the London Joe lives in. There are several such inconsistencies in the season, which is sad because the show has done such a good job of capturing the essence of New York, LA, and the suburbs. They really could have done better research or, you know, stayed in the US. Obviously, with meh characters and a poor depiction of London itself, the social commentary on British elites is also pretty average. One thing fans love about the show is that it compares Joe's dark side to the dark side of society. 
society. It has brilliantly depicted the ugly nature of East Coast academics, Hollywood hustlers, and suburban resignees. But it just falls short when it comes to the Brits. Many critics find Joe's new social circle to be caricatures of the British aristocracy. One found the humiliating croquet scene particularly silly because it crossed the boundary from satirical to just plain cartoonish. I mean, if you're gonna showcase the dark aspects of society, at least make sure the society is realistic, you know? Yes, I get that you generally leans in the dramatic side. You can't get a successful series without it. But there's a fine line between drama and self-parody. The dialogue was clunky, and most of the characters were way too tropey. I mean, seriously, why are we still doing black sheep and princess with inheritance plots? Lady Phoebe and Adam Pratt's whole story was just ridiculous. There's no nuance or depth in the whole season, just a bunch of murders, which is not what I look for in you. It seems that after three seasons, the writers were just exhausted when working on this one. Some of the plot lines don't seem new at all. Yes, many of the storylines in You Season 4 have left an all-too-familiar taste in critics' mouths. Rebecca Nicholson wrote for The Guardian that the Netflix series' swing towards a self-aware Agatha Christie-esque storyline was definitely a bold move, but one that didn't land right. Why? Because a very similar thing has been done before in Ryan Johnson's Knives Out films. Plus, the social commentary, which was already pretty weak, hailed even further in comparison to the hit HBO series The White Lotus and the 2022 film Triangle of Sadness. At least these two had a bite to match their bark. If you're gonna go after the rich, don't fall for the rich girl, Joe. Also, did the psycho killer's text-happy methods remind anyone of another character from a TV show? Yep, the mysterious A of Pretty Little Liars comes to mind. Come on, guys. You can do better than copying from a teen drama. I think you should go back to what it does best. This total switch up of the plot, full of copied material and underwhelming characters, is just not working. Some critics are even going as far as saying that you is nothing but a money-making machine now. That's why the quality drops with each season. Yep, many disappointed viewers are claiming that the show has developed enough of a viewership that it's become a way for everyone involved to earn the big bucks. Which is why the showrunners have extended the lifespan of this show. At the expense of its quality. Even if we just focus on the story itself, Joe has killed a bunch of people since the show started. How long will he keep getting away with it? There's a whole jar of his urine in Peach Salinger's house for God's sake. The producers really need to bring the series to a respectable end before it just becomes a joke. Well, there you have it. That's what critics think of You Season 4 Part 1. What do you think? I really want to know. 